So welcome to our next topic that's going to be area and volume. In this video, I'm just going to give a brief intro to, uh, to the topic and then we're going to jump straight into the videos. So they're going to go in this order. First, we're going to do a bit of revision on things like squares, rectangles, triangles, parallelograms. Then we're going to look at a trapezium. Okay, so that's going to be a, a different shape, a new shape we might not have seen. Polygons then, they sound much more complicated than they are. They're actually not too difficult. Uh, then we're going to talk about circles, arcs and sectors, which we will have seen. Uh, already we're just going to revise those and talk a little bit more about the formulas that kind of govern them. We're going to talk about prisms then, which are just regular 3D shapes. So again, you'll see what I mean there. Then we're going to talk about other 3D shapes and their nets. And then lastly, we're going to look at the trapezoidal rule, which is to get areas of uh, uneven shapes, basically. All right. So before we start trigon or, sorry, area and volume, you need to be comfortable with trigonometry and you also need to be comfortable with geometry because the rules for of trigonometry and geometry are going to be really important for area and volume and I'm not going to go through it that slowly I'm going to jump straight in uh, and I'll expect you guys to know things like Pythagoras sine cos tan uh, and some geometry rules also uh, one thing to note is that uh, area and volume comes up a lot in calculus you need to know area and volume quite well uh, for some of the questions they ask you about calculus sometimes it'll be the rate of change of um, the height of water in a tank, things like that. You need to know the area and volume of things for calculus. And then briefly, I'm just going to give you guys a few pointers on how to approach these kind of problems. So the first thing always is you're going to try and draw a sketch. So draw a sketch is super, super important for all of these. The second thing that you're going to do um, is you're going to try and break the problem up. So I'm going to say complicated, complicated shapes. So you, sometimes you can get really complicated shapes, and you want to turn these into simple shapes. So basically, if you get, a, I don't know, a weird shape like that, I know that doesn't look that weird, but you can just break that up into a square, triangle, and a circle, but it's just about being able to see those things. So they won't always be as basic as this, um, but that's the general idea. You want to turn complicated shapes into simple shapes that you know how to deal with. Then another rule will be to always use your formula book, all right? So always have your formula book on hand uh, so you don't have to try and learn off any of the formulas and make any silly mistakes like that and then the last thing I'll just say as well this is one of the points but that these videos are good for learning the basic concepts but the only way to learn area and volume so I'll say area and volume is by practicing questions practice questions get these from the book and um, you can get them on our website as well so if you look up exam learn you can look at all the exam questions by topic uh, and you can look up all the area and volume questions that have come up in the last few years and just practice those questions so the videos are good to an extent but the only way is really to practice these uh, these questions so anyway that's it for the intro video and we'll see you in the next video where we start talking about squares rectangles triangles and so on hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe exam learn uh, and also to check out our website, which is in the link down in the description. It's really, really helpful. Uh, you can sign up, get some A-grade study notes. There's also some really cool free features on the website. So we'll see you next time anyway. Thanks for watching.